Well, Mr. Chairman, though, that was unbelievably inspiring. My amendment has nothing to do with whether or not colored people or black people or anybody can serve, okay? It has nothing to do with color Mr. Your Speaker. skin, your, any of that stuff. I'd like to be recognized to have the words colored people stricken uh, from the record. I find it offensive and very inappropriate. Mayor's Can I amend my comments to people of color? The gentleman wishes to amend his comments. Is the gentleman asking? Is the gentleman asking? I ask consent. Mr. Speaker, to have the word stricken. I didn't ask for an amendment. Is there unanimous consent to have the have the word stricken? Yes. Without objection, so ordered. Without objection, so ordered. I think those words should be stricken. I think that Representative Eli Crane should be stricken. I think that we should not have to deal with this sort of thing on a daily basis, but we do. What was being discussed in that clip, by the way, and it might not be clear because none of the Republicans wanted to talk about this, is the defense bill that needs to be passed. One of the big components of which is giving a raise to members of the armed forces. Instead, like, as you might be thinking, why are you focusing on this part of it? Why have you plucked out this one weirdo dude, you like, who's not even one of the older Republicans in the House, which would not be an excuse, but he's a younger guy, and he seems to have woken up. He thinks in the 1930s. I'm not sure. It's because that was what the debate was like. It was a bunch of weirdo creeps and racists. And homophobes as well, trying to make what generally is a fairly standard bipartisan thing that briefly recognizes that if we are going to be spending on money on the military, maybe it should go to the actual people serving rather than just to like Northrop Grumman or whatever. And instead turned it into a place for them to make little clips for social media attacking diversity training, abortion, any gender ideology or whatever. He's basically frustrated that anything in the Defense Department would consider race or gender, religion, political affiliations, anything when it comes to training, education, promotion, all of that. He goes on to say, the military was never intended to be, you know, inclusive. Its strength is not its diversity, its strength is its standards. Brett, it's 2023. That that ju- that video just happened yesterday, actually. I love this guy because you are wondering if you're crazy thinking that there's people like this walking around that are really like thinking this stuff in the Republican Party, and he just proves it. Like I am not about judging people based on their appearance as long as that appearance is uh, involuntary. But once this guy starts throwing that mock turtleneck on under his jacket, he is inviting us to mock him. And I now have full license to do so after he said that. Like my guy, if you said those two words in a row first and then we're like, I mean people of color. Then we understand kind of what happened, though we still know you're kind of choking back the racist stuff you normally say the minute you pull your like mock turtle dicky off and reveal like your you know you know ribbed t-shirt you know tank top underneath like we get it um but this is this is just one of those moments where you also see like the dude who's like the acting speaker going like uh permission to teleport myself anywhere else besides here right now <laughs> Granted, okay, thank you, gavel, Permission and then he just disappears. Not go viral. I would just really prefer not to. Um, yeah, I just I hate it. Joyce Beatty, Representative Joyce Beatty, had a great response to it and didn't allow him to just like scurry out from the situation he'd put him in. He'd put himself in, I should say. Um, but yeah, it's just that's this. This is what we have. This is what the now governing majority in the House is like. For more political news breakdowns, interviews, stories of activism, and me trying my hardest to care about the occasional big celebrity news story, subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtubecom slash report. and you can ring the bell wherever it is, so you don't miss anything.